material after he left the presidency. Anthony Zucker, thank you very much indeed for that. Thank you. The United States has warned Israel that staging a military offensive into Gaza's southern city of Rafah without proper planning would be a disaster. The White House said it would not support plans for any major operations in Rafah without due consideration for the refugees currently there. The comments come a day after Israel's leader said the military had been told to prepare to operate in Rafah. The U.S. President Joe Biden says that conduct in Gaza has been over the top and is working to get a sustained pause in fighting. More than 100 Israeli hostages are still held in Gaza after Hamas attacked Israel on October the 7th and killed more than 1,000 people. Well, with me now in the studio is uh, Saeed Shahata from BBC Arabic. Saeed, uh, thank you for joining us here in the studio. First off, what has the IDF said exactly about an offensive into Rafah? It is a problematic uh, for several reasons. Rafah is the last resort for the displaced people who moved from north and center of Gaza. There is more than one million uh, Palestinian refugees there. Uh, they facing like severe humanitarian problems. If Israel started like major offensive in this area, it will be more killings, more disaster, and it will might cause a problem with Egypt because where these people go, the only way to go is Sinai. And Egypt repeatedly, uh, and the president of Egypt, uh, Al Sisi, said several times, it's a red line. They cannot cross because it will be the end of the Palestinian issue. So it is a big sticking point. And for the United States to communicate this with Israel uh, through Blinken, the foreign minister, uh, it's, it's a clearly it's a red line even for the American because even Israel like started like you know air strikes for some uh, houses in Rafah yesterday and some people died but it's not a major uh, major operation so the only uh, concern for the Americans is is a big operation if there is like surgical actions America will tolerate, will tolerate that but otherwise will not and this is the reason for Mr. Biden in his like uh, conf uh, press conference said what the conduct of Israel all over uh, in Gaza was over the top and this was the first unprecedented critique of Israel. The support of America for Israel is, is solid, is strong, but I think it seems that America have, has enough from the pressure on it and the, on the international level. There is many critique of America, the protector of human rights, the civil rights. How come they tolerate like killing of thousands of people? Now more than 27,000 people died in Gaza. So American in a critical situation. So they want to put a stand with Israel because it seems that Mr. Netanyahu, the Israeli prime minister, does not listen, didn't mm. listen so far. So they need to have a standoff with him. They need to put pressure on him because Rafah, it will be a disaster as John Kirby, the National Security uh, Council spokesperson, said it uh, yesterday. Okay. Saeed Chatter from BBC Arabic. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.